Hi everyone, this is Brian with Obedia MPC Audio Labs. I'm giving you a look today, uh, real quickly, at the Persona Studio Live 1602 Digital Performance and Recording Mixer. This is a 16-channel mixer from Personas. Uh, very well-priced mixer and an awesome way to get into a ton of I.O. and a very small and sleek device that's also going to be really useful for live mixing. So not only is this going to be useful in the studio, but also in a live mix environment. And that's because of the digital effects that it has on board, um, including reverbs, delays, and many other effects, uh, uh, compressors, equalization, all on each channel strip that you can use live in the mix. So this is an awesome mixer to use uh, in a uh, live environment, but it's also going to give you a lot for working in the studio. We'll just take a quick look at it here so you guys can see what it is all about. Now it's a 16-channel Firewire mixer, connects to your computer through Firewire. Uh, however, you can also use this in conjunction with Thunderbolt, and I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit here. Um, but I just want to show you guys the device to start off with. You've got your 12 silver faders here, and it's 12, not 16 of them, because as you can see, uh, channels 9 through 16 are combo. They are stereo paired together, so there are independent faders for every six, uh, for each of the 16 channels, but you know that's okay because you're still going to get hands-on control very easily. And Persona's faders always have a real good feeling to them. Now these are not motorized. This is something people ask me all the time. Are the faders motorized? They are not motorized. Um, they will not move with your mix or anything like that. Just keep that in mind. It's not really a big deal, but something to keep in mind. You have four auxes, which you can use for making aux sends and aux mixes on the board. And then you have a main fader out. Uh, we'll power the unit on here. Now we're not connecting it to a computer right now, but the cool thing about the 1602 and the Studio Live series of mixers from Personas is that they don't have to connect to a computer. If they are connected to a computer, they can be used for live recording, and you can use them in conjunction with Personas' Studio uh, One software. You can also use them in conjunction with the Capture software, which will come, both of which will come with this device, um, which is quite awesome. And uh, so you can use those to record. You can also, uh, if you want, just use the device in standalone mode. And that's why it makes for a great live performance mixer. And we'll just talk about the usage of it just a little bit here. We don't need to go too in depth because there is a lot to be seen on this device. Uh, but suffice to say, each of your channel strips is going to have a select button. When that button is selected, the channel strip is selected. That gives you access to the channel strip effects, the digital effects. Uh, now you do need to enable those if you want to make use of them. In this case, on channel one, I'm enabling pretty much every effect. I have a gate I can take control over. I have a high pass filter, a compressor. Uh, which features, of course, what we expect from a compressor, threshold ratio, you've got response and you have gain. We have a limiter. Uh, we also have equalization, low, mids, and highs, and the ability to, to control the frequency and the gain on each of those. And this is all done using these rotary encoders. These rotary encoders are uh, really easy to, to turn, but they're not overly loose, which is nice. So you're not going to make a mistake and go too far. It's real easy to be very accurate with these. Now what you're going to see is that each time I make a change with one of these, my meters here are going to change. Now these meters are multifunctional as well. And when I say that, what I mean is that uh, those meters not only will show me what is happening uh, with respect to the effects that I am utilizing on the channel strip, but I also have the ability to use those faders to be able to see input gain uh, and also a number of other uh, features on the channel strip themselves. Now that's all done through the metering right here on the meters button, and I have input, output, I can show my gain reduction if I'm utilizing anything for uh, dynamics control on the board, and then I can locate these. Now this is cool because when I press locate, 
this will show me immediately where these faders are because again as I say these are not motorized so if you don't know exactly where the fader level is for one reason or another let's say you're on inputs and you're seeing your input levels coming in or you're watching your outs you can click on locate and that'll allow you to really easily see where your fader uh, levels are going to be at so it's very easy to take control of the functions on the mixer and that's because it's a multi-function mixer and every channel sort of has a multitude of features that and functions that can be used with it. Um, now the encoders again are also multi-function you can take many uh, you can take control of many different features using the encoders strip here on the left hand side of the unit including controlling the graphic EQ your FX A and B sends and your four auxiliary sends. Uh, something that you will notice from time to time on some of these digital mixers from Personas is the Firewire button. Now that's important because what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to basically control that channel strip utilizing uh, Firewire on your computer. So if you want to be routing audio back and into the Studio Live uh, console, you can do that by enabling Firewire for the channel strip. Uh, each of these channel strips is easily selectable as you can see and I can you know I can easily zero the board out in a lot of ways if I want to by just rolling my finger across uh, the buttons which are rubberized but not sticky and you know that when you feel it they feel very easy to use but they're not sticky to the touch. As I mentioned there are FX on the board and you have an FXA and an FXB which you can take control of and control the assignment of those as well and control their levels each of your channel strips can have uh, its own send to those effects as well as the auxiliary uh, channels on the board allowing you to take real deep control of your mix you have a talkback solo control headphone control monitor control this can also be linked back using firewire and uh, you can easily browse all of the different features on the board by utilizing the LCD screen on the top right hand corner. This allows you to do a number of things, one of which and one of the most important things is saving scenes. Now scenes are saved uh, on the screen right here allowing you to not only name a scene but also uh, to save everything that has happened on the scene as your board is when you're using it. So this is cool because if you are a front of house engineer and you are mixing 10 bands in one night, you can dial in a mix for each of those bands and then simply recall that scene and you don't have to go back and move faders and try and remember where things were, take a picture of your mixer or anything. You don't have to do any of that because it will be saved right, at, right uh, in the memory of the board. You can also download the memory of the board onto your computer and port that to other devices. Great way to back up your settings, uh, making it really easy to use this board um, in a multitude of situations. So this screen is going to allow you to do a lot of different things, such as browse through effects, browse scenes, do system settings, store uh, settings that you make on the system, and also recall those at the same time. Uh, super easy to use, all done using the rotary encoder, the previous and next buttons, and also the page up and page down buttons, real easy to use. You have a lamp plug-in on the right hand corner, and then on the top of each channel strip here, you have your gain uh, dials. And that of course is going to allow you to adjust the gain coming uh, into the device. Let's flip it around and just look at the I.O. real quick. So the back of the board of course is where all of your input and output is going to happen. Uh, it's very straightforward. You have your talkback mic section and then you have each of your uh, channel strips. And as I say, 9 through 16 are combo. And so they are stereo input pairs uh, for standard quarter inch. They also have just single mono XLR ins. And in the cases of some, you're also going to find RCA. The rest of your channel strips are going to give you XLR as well as quarter in. You have your auxiliary outputs allowing you to control aux outputs, maybe for control, uh, controlling and driving studio uh, or stage wedges, things along those lines, other monitor mixes, and etc. You have a monitor output, your main output. Uh, for quarter inch, you also have a main output coming out 
as uh, XLR with a gain control. You have a mono output also with a gain control. MIDI in and out, which is very cool because uh, not all of the Studio Live devices have MIDI on them. I have a 2442, it does not have MIDI on it. It's not a big deal, but it's very cool to be able to drive MIDI as well through the device. Two Firewire ports, and the reason for two Firewire ports is that yes, you can connect multiple Studio Live boards together and basically stack them in order to get more input and output. Uh, and that's pretty easy to do utilizing Personas' software. You can see a lot of I.O. happening here, but very clean, straightforward, easy to use, easy to understand. Plug it in, power it on, and you're ready to go. There's one more thing that I should mention, and that's that today we have the Studio Live console connected to the PC Audio Labs MC8X Pro Audio desktop computer. Now, the MC8X is a Thunderbolt-enabled Pro Audio PC. Uh, now, Thunderbolt, for those of you who may not be familiar, is uh, sort of the next generation connectivity protocol uh, being utilized in much of the digital audio world. The one thing you're going to find, however, is that not a lot of audio devices yet have Thunderbolt uh, on board. And, uh, but the great thing about uh, Thunderbolt is that it is very easily extensible. and the way that I'm going to show you how we're going to connect the Studio Live 1602 to the PC Audio Labs computer today um, is actually not through FireWire. We're going to connect it through Thunderbolt. And so we're going to use uh, right here this Apple Thunderbolt adapter. Um, now this is a standard Apple Thunderbolt adapter. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use it on a PC today. <laughs> now I'm making a few jumps here today, uh, and that's because I'm running FireWire 400. I have a FireWire 400 cable. I'm running that into a FireWire 400 adapter. That FireWire 400 adapter then goes to FireWire 800. The Apple Thunderbolt adapter is FireWire 800. Pair those up. And then I have my Thunderbolt adapter. So there's a few different hops and skips happening here, but it works just fine. And, uh, and we'll just show that to you um, by just simply plugging this uh, unit up and to the computer. So now you're going to see that right here we have the Thunderbolt adapter plugged directly into our PC Audio Labs computer. And Right here on our test system, we have our mixer pulled up and we can look at our Thunderbolt devices. And what we will see is that we have our Apple uh, Thunderbolt adapter connected to the computer. Now in this case, the Intel Thunderbolt software is telling us that it's not an approved adapter, but that's fine. This works just fine. And this is allowing us to connect our Studio Live console directly to our PC Audio Labs computer using Thunderbolt even though we don't have FireWire in this uh, specific computer. So there you have it guys. That is the Persona Studio Live 1602 Digital Performance and Recording Mixer. And uh, I've also just shown you a little bit there obviously of how you can use this easily with a Thunderbolt enabled computer uh, using the PC Audio Labs MC8X Thunderbolt Pro Audio computer. So if you don't have FireWire in your computer, maybe you're moving away from FireWire, but you're going to use an awesome device like the 1602, don't fret because you can still very easily use it uh, with new offerings from uh, computer makers and PC makers. So a lot of flexibility with this device, very easy to use because it is also quite light and very easy to move around. Um, so if you are looking for a great new mixer for studio and for stage, I think the Studio Live 1602 is a great way to go. Now, of course, if you guys have questions about the Studio Live 1602, if you want to get to know it more in depth, give us a call here at Obedia uh, and we will help you one on one. Uh, through remote desktop and over the phone to get to know your new hardware and also the software that comes with it because that's what we do best here at Obedia. Now as always guys, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. I want to thank you for tuning in today and until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. 
Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.